So I was asked the question, what is business law and why is it important? So business law primarily is involved with the buying and selling of goods and services. Business law is important because it affects pretty much every avenue of your life uh, from commerce to other activities. So if you um, are in the state of Utah and you have questions about business law, you probably want to know either how to start a business, you probably want to know how to manage or run a business, maybe you need to know about finances and profitability, perhaps you have intellectual property concerns. Um, the Uniform Commercial Code is about the buying and selling of goods and how that's governed in the state of Utah. You may also have a question about buying a business or selling a business or how to um, do mergers and acquisitions or how to close down a business when you no longer want to be in business. Uh, all of those things are part of business law. The code sections are in the uh, Utah code. They're under Title 16 and Title 48, that's partnerships and corporations. Commerce and trade are under Title 13. Um, you need to be aware of if you have employees like the Department of Labor, you need to understand labor laws. You should probably have somebody in your HR department if you're starting a new business. You need to have those types of people because you don't want to uh, violate any labor laws. So you need to know about labor laws. There's also the Consumer Sales Practices Act. You need to be honest in your communications. You can't be lying or committing fraud or, or making things up about what you do and why you do it. So the Utah Consumer Sales Practices Act and the Utah Consumer Credit Code is also applicable if you're lending money or you're uh, selling things on layaway or on payments or installments. You need to review those sections. Uh, also, labor in general. So um, anytime you are either contracting labor using either some type of a subcontractor or an independent contractor or employee, you need to know those rules and make sure that you are following the law. Just because you have a friend who's willing to do work for you as an independent contractor, that doesn't necessarily make them an independent contractor. Even if they think they're an independent contractor, and you do too, the law may say something very different which trumps your opinion and your friend's opinion. For example, uh, I've already mentioned the Uniform Commercial Code on the sale of goods. Uh, there's also secure transactions. Uh, for example, when you buy a vehicle or you buy business equipment, they may, uh, they may offer financing on it and they may get a security interest or a UCC1 filing against your business equipment. Banks typically do that if you get a bank loan from a business. Um, those are things you need to look at. Those are things you need to understand because they can repossess your business equipment if you don't make payments on it, for example. Um, Anytime there's a security issue, there's a, a Utah Division of Securities that you need to worry about, workforce services, um, and then also um, just in general commerce, how it works. So you probably need a business license depending on where you're located at. If you're doing business in a certain city, you probably need a, a city business license. You may uh, even need different licenses depending on the type of goods or services that you're offering. For example, if you want to be a general contractor, you need to have a contractor's license. If you're doing specific work like HVAC work or electrical work, you need to have licenses for those things. You can't just have a general license and do electrical work. You have to have an electrician's license. Uh, those are things you need to know. Um, and so business law is important. It covers a vast array of areas. And uh, that's what I primarily do. I serve as general counsel for businesses. If you need help with your business and business law, feel free to give me a call. I may be able to help you. Thanks for watching.